Hi Virgo, I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to your dedicated reading for love, romance and relationships. Cheers my darlings. Now, these are all general messages and not everything here will resonate with you. But if it does, claim it 100%. Immediately after this, I will be uploading your dedicated reading for career, health and your money. Now, this, along with the love reading, will cover every single facet of your beautiful vibration. So subscribe, hit that bell icon so that you never miss another message for me. Follow me on Instagram if you wish. Are you ready, Virgo? This is only going to be about love and partnerships, relationships. I am going to be taking multiple decks, giving you multiple messages, okay, one after another. I insist that you watch not just your sun sign i want you to watch your sun moon rising and venus okay find out where these placements are in your chart it's very important your birth chart is like your what can i say it's like your medical report for your life once you know where the planets are placed in which house and you keep focusing on ascendant on your moon on your sun sign and where your Venus, Jupiter, you know, you'll start to understand how beautiful this life and how easy it is to understand when the shit is going to end. I promise you. Okay. So are you ready? Take what's yours, leave the rest, apply this to you or to the person you're thinking about when you come across this reading. Let's go. I have your confirmations, your validations and your answered prayers. Okay. This is Virgo, love, relationships. Let's go. Spirit, give me clear guidance for my Virgos, please. It's one more. No, 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 the whole deck, sorry. Virgos, thank you, Spirit. Hmm. Oh my God. First, I'll start with this, the North Node or Rahu. It's an extremely important point in your, in your, in your horoscope because see, the Rahu and Ketu, which are the nodes of the moon, are your destiny points. And the North Node is something, like I'm saying, it's a fated event. It's a fated event point in your whole chart and it is asking you to step out of your comfort zone what is your true north that's what it shows you now i don't know the very fact virgo it's asking you to step out of your comfort zone tells me that some of you are probably stuck or some of you are probably refusing to leave something which is comfortable you may not be happy there but because you're used to something or someone in particular you are refusing to step out. You are being nudged. I don't, look, engage with this energy. I don't want it to force you out. That, that's what I'm scared about, where you are, have no choice, but you have to leave. It's a time to release negativity. Scorpio, if we're dealing with a Scorpio, now when, when this release, Scorpio energy, negativity comes out, it's about Pluto. It's Plutonic. And it is about purging. You are being asked to. And you know, because it's coming with the card of get out of your comfort zone. Some of you have gotten comfortable in a shitty situation. I'm so sorry to say that. And you know, Pluto is about purging. So I mean, you know, go out. I, again, I don't mean this in any bad way, but you've gotten comfortable in a very shitty situation. You got to bounce. You got to release this because it is an eighth house is affecting, you know, it could be a very sexually charged relationship or it could be affecting your sex life. It could also be affecting the money because it is, this is where you get your tax, you know, your taxes, inheritances, money from your partner. You are being asked to release. Are you staying there because of money ties? Well, it's not working. It's not working. Like I said, you've gotten used to staying in a shitty situation. Purge it out. The end of a tough cycle approaches. This is Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, are you? Now, this is telling me that, you know, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, his Lord Shani. He has seven rings. He, when he comes into the picture, my goodness, he makes you do that hard work, okay? At the end, he gives you a big reward if you've done the hard work. 
It's not like Jupiter where he just gives it. No, no, no. I think somebody has put in a lot of effort. This could be karmic, you know. It's about a lesson, yeah, because Saturn is about lessons. Somebody here has gone through something over and over again. But you've chosen to stay, like I said, you've gotten used to being in a shitty situation. There's a huge nudge for you to leave something toxic because this is about the devil energy, Capricorn. It's also about toxicity. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody who has money issues or some kind of a devilish toxic addiction in the, I don't know. Or are you addicted to them? But now it's turned into a cauldron of toxicity where you're drinking it still. Stop. Balance your spirituality and balance your spirituality. My goodness. And practicality. This is Pisces. It's the 12th house. This could be a very uh, a magical love. I hope it's not a hidden connection with Capricorn, you know, the card of a karmic and the 12th house Pisces, which is, well, hidden things. It's also divine love. It's also confusion. With the word of spirituality, I know you believe this is a very spiritual connection and blah, 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 and da, da, da. But is it practical? There could also be many hidden things here that you do not know. You are you don't even you're not even aware of them, Virgo. I hope there's another. I hope there isn't another person. And when this word of practicality comes out with the Pisces energy, it is yelling at me that somebody here is wearing a pair of rose tinted glasses and blazing through this crap. Please remove them. Please remove them. Something is hidden from you. There is confusion. You are not seen clearly. You need to purge. This was your first message, okay? Comment below. Let me know what you're going through, yeah, Virgo. It's very heavy, this energy. And, you know, with the 12th house, Pisces, it's also about endings. Like I said, engage with the energy. I don't want it to hit you, you know, left of field and you go like, whoa. I don't want that. Start engaging with it if this is your story. And then, you know, the energy, don't let it choose. You already select what is not working in your life, in a relationship, and start to get, you know, purging it little by little. Then this energy will help you. But if you completely run the other direction, well, then it's going to come at you and it's going to like literally in your face and you won't know what to do. I don't want that to happen to you, Virgos. Okay. Moving on. Your second message. By the way, Virgos, if you want, write down your question in chat. I will pull a card for you and make it a point to answer it. Okay? Let's go. Second message. Love. Romance. Virgos. I'll, this is my chakra oracle, okay? So I'll tell you which chakras are being activated here. This is the card of rejection. I don't know if you're feeling rejected by someone. And look, this is the Shahasara, you know, this silverish, whitish light. It's in your mind. Oh, are you scared that somebody is rejecting you? Or I think there is somebody here who has made up this whole story in their head that they are being rejected by someone. I don't know if there's delusions going on here. I'm going to clarify these cards. But somebody here is not mentally well. I don't know if they're scared of being rejected or if they're already decided that somebody has. I, I think there's delusions here. I don't know why. Now, gossip. I need you to be careful of who you're confiding your personal story or whatever you're going through especially if it's a group of friends. Now, because it's the green, it's the anahata, it's your heart. Who do you consider to be the closest to you as your bum chum, your buddy? Please don't confide in them. They are not being honest. Look at this. You know, and I'll be honest with you guys. I've noticed this. Sometimes when you confide in somebody, you know who you think is your best friend, you know, and they are so interested in knowing when things are not going well for you. Now, there'll be very few people there. Yeah? who really set intentions that, you know what, I hope you get out of this. Most of them are dancing with joy in their hearts, bubbling with excitement that you're screwed. So sorry for my language. Just watch out for this energy, please. Impatience. 
in patients. You know, I don't know if somebody is having some mental issues. I, I don't know why I feel this. And this is the throat, the Vishuddha. Is somebody impatient to just say something to someone? It's like because it's about your voice, it's about speaking up. Or is someone treating you in a way that is dismissive? No, but I'll find out. But somebody here wants to reach a goal and they want to speak it so quickly and get over with it. Look, if you are planning to get rid of somebody from your life, you want to reject them, please don't be impatient. And if you are facing this, I think you are expecting a miracle. This is the solar plexus, the yellow. It's your Manipura. It's your seat of power. You know, somebody here does not have the confidence that this can be saved. I feel this very strongly. Okay, let's clarify these cards. Okay, Virgos, come on. Spirit, what is this rejection about, please? The word goes, my God, my hair is so messy. Ah. What is this rejection about, please, spirit? The word goes, my God. Gossip. Word goes. Oh, boy. Impatience. Word goes. Shown up in your own reading, the hermit, the miracle for Virgos. Oh my God. You know, I'm talking to somebody. I don't know if you know this or no, but they have a lot of suitors. And I'll tell you why. You, you think you may be the only one? You're wrong. There are many more people fighting for somebody's attention. And I want to take what? No, I'll first talk to you about these cards. Sorry. The card of rejection. You are scared of being rejected by somebody who is your wish fulfillment. This could be an Aquarian. This could be somebody who's at a distance from you. This could be somebody you've connected on social media. This is somebody who is your hope, wishes, desires, and dreams. This could also be somebody you've connected to via work. Now, why are you scared of being rejected by them? You know, I'm talking to somebody who has that little nudge, which is telling them, you know what? This person is going to reject me. Now, it's all in your mind. Am I talking to somebody whose confidence is very low? Because your shahsara is your intellect. It's also your ego. I don't know if somebody is going to, is so egotistical that they believe that they can never be rejected. I do not know. Now, I don't know if you're talking to somebody who's got a lot of ego as well, Virgo. It's a lot of ego. And they could be somebody who has a good social media presence. This is Aquarian energy. Somebody who's out of the box, you know, they think the mavericks ahead of their time. Trailblazers. Somebody is scared here of being rejected by someone who they consider to be their wish fulfillment. Now, with card of gossip, I told you, do not confide. Okay? People who are close to you, you know, your heart, as in your bum chums, your best friends, well, you're going to get clarity on who's creating gossip. Ace of Swords. Supreme clarity. Okay? This is air energy. Aquarius, you have a lot of Aquarius energy. Gemini, Libra. You're going to know who are these so-called mates of yours because they are gossiping about you. You know, because I feel you've met somebody via work. I wonder if it's your workmates who are gossiping about you. I don't know. But do not confide and you will be you will be shown who these not so savory friends are. Now with the card of impatience, which is triggering your Vishuddha, where somebody wants to speak something in a hurry, you are being asked to go within. This is your card work. Before you speak, you know, I also feel somebody here is going to address because the ace of source could be you very clearly confronting some people. Who have been creating gossip in your life? I feel this too. It could be a bunch of your friends. Okay. Now, before you do that, I think somebody is impatient here to confront someone. Go within. Pull back. This is the card of solitude. This is your card, Virgo. Shine that light in places 
which you've kept hidden. Don't be impatient. Somebody wants to confront someone here. I am feeling this. They want to go at somebody and just give it to them because you are upset. You are being rejected. Just don't be impatient. Please do not be impatient. Please. Go within. Take some time out. And you know, Virgo, your energy is the one that nitpicks. You like to, you're very, very, uh, I'll give you your shadow side and I'll give you, of course, your higher vibration. We all have it. Your shadow side is you like to go to the bottom of everything, criticize everything, dissect it, bisect it, all that jazz. Mm. Read the last page and the last line. You are also the Nancy Drews of the Zodiac. You like to go deeper and find answers. You also like, you know, detectives. Somebody is very impatient. I don't know what you found out. But you want to confront somebody in a hurry. Do not. This card is asking you to pull back, to go within. This is the sixth house. It's about your health. It's about your daily routines. It's about what you do for work. I'm not talking about all that, but that's what the Virgo energy highlights. And because it's impatience, I do not want you to go at... I know you have information. Hold back. Hold on, all right? Now, the miracle, okay? I, and I do not know how this is going to be applicable to the card which has come with it, but we shall see. Miracle is your solar plexus because it's the yellow. It's like a, that fire that burns in you, you know, of confidence. Five of wands. Look. Are you thinking of confronting somebody? Virgo, don't. I mean, I, I, I am somebody who is not non-confrontational. I mean, that's just my personality. I will do it in my way, but this is an out and out going and beating. Just don't. Because, you know, the solar plexus is your seat of power. Somebody here feels, I'm going to take my power back. I'm going to go and... Please don't. I'll give you another message here. What you're going to find, I'll see a miracle is something just coming in front of you like, oh, what? You have a lot of competition behind the scenes and you know this gossip you want to confront you want to go in that face and give it to them just please please i, I cannot promote this behavior <laughs> please don't i know you found something out i know you're mad as hell just do not please go and confront someone just don't they, i mean you know what don't um it never really ends well let's take one more card very interesting energy for you workers Love. Thank you, Spirit. Now, wisdom. Thank God. This is again, this is Anahata with the green. Your heart is going to tell you about, it's going to give you some prompts and some knowledge, okay? You know, and this, and this with the Ace of Swords, just please engage with this. Don't rush into something. And then have a soulmate. And this with this red color, it's your Muladhara. There's somebody coming in who is going to create stability in your life because the root, your Muladhara, is about creating stability, a base. Now, you're going to get the wisdom about a soulmate. I'll clarify these two cards. What is this wisdom about? You know, and there's in that wisdom card, which is your Anahata, there's somebody talking to somebody like an elder. Please don't make a hasty decision. Oh my God. God. What is going on with you, yeah? You know, with the card of wisdom, and I feel there's somebody contacting somebody at the Seven of Swords. There are many messages here. Are you thinking of contacting a psychic or a tarot card reader? I mean, you're finding a very intelligent way to seek wisdom. Look, don't dabble in anything dark. I just don't want you to do that. You're also going to find out the knowledge that somebody's been sneaking behind your back. Just don't be, just, I'm getting a lot of anger here. The solar plexus, you know, it's like bursting with flames and you impatient to attack some, don't, please do. I know somebody has been sneaky AF under your nose and they've been doing this for a long time. I feel this. Some of you could also be finding a very intelligent way to seek wisdom on how to tackle a situation. Please listen to this person, whoever you're seeking wisdom. 
Uh, I don't think anybody, you know, who's a conscientious tarot card reader or a psychic is going to tell you to go and fight with somebody. No, they're not. Now, with the card of soulmate, you have the card of defending something. I'm telling you, some of you have been defending the wrong person. As in, you have been staying with somebody who you thought was your soulmate. And this is going to change. Because look at this individual. It's almost like they're being attacked by people that they don't know. Do you have, have you always felt attacked? Or you've always had to explain why and how and when to someone? Or you have stood steadfast here by someone and defended them because you believe it's your soulmate. But you're going to get wisdom about them. Some knowledge. Just don't be mad. Do not rush to confront. I want you to find a very intelligent way, okay, to defend yourself and leave a situation. I want you to do that. And I know it's going to make you go out of your comfort zone. Look, this individual has the upper hand. There may be many people attacking you. I also want to give you another message, okay? Because that seven of swords has come with the card of wisdom. I hope somebody is not using some kind of underhand tactics, Okay, to come at you. And I want you to be careful of that. I am talking to somebody who has defended a situation or a person for a long time. You know, seven of swords coming out here. It's not very good energy. Five of wands, not good energy in a relationship. You do not know there are many things that are hidden here. If you're still defending this individual, stop. Okay, you're at the seven. I don't want you to go up to the nine where you're close to being exhausted. Somebody here has stood firmly and defended someone. No more. You're finding out something which is going to shift this. And please pay attention. Practicality and spirituality. I know you are going towards somebody to give you some guidance. But it needs a practical plan. Remove those rose-tinted glasses, man. I'm telling you, somebody's gotten used to being in a shitty situation. Purge it. Okay. Now I'll take my Lenormans for you, all right? Virgos, let's see what this deck has to say. This is the next message. Thank you, Spirit. Your cards are here. Talking to a divine feminine. Don't go by the sex of the cards, huh? This is my girl next door. It is somebody who is very chilled out, laid back, you know, casually dressed. She has this rose in her hand. She wants to give love. She wants to receive love. She could be somebody who's very well read. There's a book. Um... Uh, she could also be somebody who's learned a lot of lessons. It's like her life is an open book. She's very open. She's very educated, loves to read. Could be about reading, writing, researching, teaching. All those things are highlighted. Just somebody very, very uh, well-educated. Could be a mother. This is, this is the moon energy, Cancer. Can also be Pisces. Now, I don't know if this is a secretive connection. I don't know if this woman has some repressed fears. And I don't know. It's also possible she could be a mother, a single parent, okay? Somebody who's very nurturing, a lot of water energy here. Okay. In most decks, it's Pluto and Scorpio, right? But in this deck, it's Cancer, if I'm not mistaken. It's a number seven. Uh, this is telling you to watch your back. I don't know who I'm talking to here. I don't know who this is highlighting, but I think it's somebody who is a, is a single parent. It can, be a, it can be a man. I mean, we have the male and the female energies within us. It could be a man who's very nurturing, who's put in a situation where they have to take care of their child. Now, this is about the home. The moon, the moon is the cancer card. It's also about the home. There's deception in a home. This is somebody who's very constricting. A snake constricts you, controls you. This is a kind of a craving, you know. I don't know if this is seduction. I don't know what this is. Something forbidden for sure. I also get the feeling when I think of a snake because it keeps shedding its skin, you know. Uh, it's like somebody says that they're changing, but they never really change. Another snake only comes out, right? Now, somebody's loyalty. This is Uranus and Aquarius. This is about friendships. It's also like my Leo energy. I don't know why I feel this, like a pet, you know. Somebody is very loyal here. 
somebody is also very caring. I'm I'm getting a, a sense of because of this is Aquarius in this deck. Somebody is not just very loyal. They are what can I say? They are a friend to someone first. And then they love them. It's that kind of a love. And this is because this is Uranus and Aquarius. Suddenly, I think, you know, with the snake and this, it's it's terrible. There's going to be an ending, a death, Pluto and Scorpio, of somebody's loyalty to someone. And I'm telling you, this news is coming in very suddenly. This is Gemini. It's coming in extremely suddenly. I do not want you to make a hasty decision. Okay. I don't want you to go at somebody, confront them, yell, scream. Please don't. Please do not. There is going to be an ending of loyalty towards someone. That's what I'm getting from these cards. Okay. Divine feminine, please. The moon energy, please, spirit of workers. The moon energy. The death card, please, spirit. Virgos. So there's, there's too many cards on my table. Okay. The dog. The dog for Virgos, please, spirit. Wow. The letter for Virgos, please, spirit. My God. The snake for Virgos, please, spirit. Okay. Look, I, I want to start with the snake because I think there is somebody else that they're communicating with. Look, if you've come here for a confirmation or a validation that there's somebody that they're talking to, it could be on social media because a lot of Aquarius energy. Sorry to say it's possible. And they're not just texting, they're sexting someone because these are wands and these are my Cupid's love arrows of hot mission that are going on with between two people. I also want you to know that perhaps they travel to meet somebody because it's also air air travel, you know, and the snake. This is my card of deception, seduction. If they're telling you to go, they're going for work, well, they're definitely mixing business and pleasure. I'm going to put this out there now. With the divine feminine, it, don't go by the sex of the card. Whoever is showing up that I'm talking to, it could be a masculine as well. They're moving away. And for me, this is always spirit ferrying you across. This is you leaving a situation that was ridden with conflicts and for me this is you packing your suitcase of pain hurt betrayal leaving it peacefully look i'm telling you don't confront somebody else don't do it virgos please engage with this energy maintain your you know your your integrity your classiness and you know your beautiful energy in short leave this situation peacefully and it, let it just be you moving away from a situation that did not suit your vibration or your frequency. And I think somebody here is affected mentally with it. I don't know why I feel this. And source is air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, a lot of words spoken. You know, swords can hurt you, yeah? With the moon energy, which I thought was either Pisces Cancer, of course, a very nurturing, caring. I have a king of cups. I know this is a parent I'm talking to. Somebody who's open for love. Somebody who wants love. Very loving and care. the only, you know, downside of this person, they can be very clingy, you know. But I mean, what do you do? It's about love. Now, I don't know if they are keeping secrets or if this is the one who's suffering this. Could be either. I feel that they're suffering this. I also feel that they have kept a lot of fears hidden within them. They've never been able to express what they really feel. I don't know why I feel that. But there's a lot of love here. King of Cups. This could be Scorpio. A lot of love. I mean, there it's like a well, you know. And I think this person has never really expressed to someone how much they've just loved them endlessly. There's never been a cause for the because. It's just that they have so much of love to give. And their emotions, it will also be somebody who cries very easily. I don't know if they have, you know, stayed up many, you know, nights and cried. There's a lot of sadness here. I want to tell you this. 
Hmm. I don't know, Virgo, what's going on with you. I feel it right in my Anahata. And it's okay. Hmm. It's okay. All right. Now, with the card of the ending, okay, the Scorpio, I have my Knight of Wands. This is my player. Okay. Now, there could be an age difference here. One person is showing up as extremely caring, nurturing, loving, responsible, and the other person is a Knight of Wands. This is somebody who travels. There's something with traveling, flying short distances, you know, for work. Well, their playing, game playing days are coming to an end. I think this person didn't want to bring this to an end, but perhaps because they got committed, they had to. But, you know, I feel they're still using the excuse of traveling. Because it's the eighth house, Scorpio and Pluto. And, and, and uh, it's, about, it's about sex. It's about lustful sex, you know. I mean, it's that... Craving, because a snake is here. They're craving for something. And I think this individual is a bit childish. I don't know if they travel. I don't know. And they use it as an excuse to hook up with somebody else. Well, this is coming to an end. Or somebody brought this to an end. I, this, I, I don't know why I felt this. But whatever it is, it has to come to an end. And this individual has to transform from being a player and not wanting to commit while well, they have committed. I know I'm talking to somebody who's in a committed relationship. I don't know if they're married, but it's a committed partnership. For sure. This has to come to an end or this is not going to work. Now, with the card of loyalty, okay, it's Aquarius energy. I have the page of cups. You know, I'll give you a lot of messages with this card. Pages are the youngest suits of the tarot. They're usually messengers. I think this person has always come as a page and as a knight, never as a king or a queen with a little bit of loyalty. And, you know, a little bit of friendship. Not the whole thing. And somebody has found that out. Now, when the page comes out, I also wonder if somebody stayed loyal to someone because of a child. And perhaps you have a child, you know, who's a water sign, um, Cancer, Scorpio, and a, or a Pisces, very sensitive. I also think somebody is very sensitive here about the loyalty of somebody. And it's extremely important to them. I mean, th if, if there was ever a question asked to them, what is the most important thing in a relationship for you? Their answer would be loyalty of my partner. And somebody has triggered exactly that by being disloyal. Disloyal, right? Not unloyal. Disloyal. They've always come with a little bitty cup, sippy cup. Where is the big cup of loyalty? They've not. They've given you a little bit at a time. Look, I also want to give you another message. Somebody could come back to you with an apology saying that they're loyal and they're very playful now. Just think about it, please. You have free will, Virgo, okay? But just think about it. They're showing up as a page, not even a king. I think that king of cups and that, you know, that female, the main female is your energy. Now, with the card of the communication coming in, okay, this is my Gemini energy. That's strength. This is Leo. Somebody could have a very strong Leo placement in their chart. This is somebody who's bossy, okay? Somebody who likes to control. You know, I'm telling you, if they are writing a letter to you or communicating with you, they're going to come to you in a very playful way first. Like, I'm so sorry I did this, you know, and try to be extra nice or, you know, whatever. Then they're going to try to talk to you in a way to control you. Because as you can see, this woman is trying to control this lion, okay? Almost as if she can make it tame. This is the kind of strength. Somebody has been tested, first of all. They, they have had to, what can I say, muster up strength from God knows where. But someone is going to try to control you and I want you to take care of that. I also think you may find out information that there is somebody controlling somebody. You cannot domesticate a lion, my friends. You cannot. You know, it's archetype. It can turn around at any minute and eat up, eat up this woman for lunch. There is somebody controlling someone. 
And I want you to take note of that. And I've already told you what the snake is about. They are communicating with somebody, okay, at a distance, okay? They may even have plans to go and meet them. They already may be meeting them, you know, uh, for their trips, etc. I feel this, all right? The first card, you are being asked to leave, to move, all right? Now, I'm going to put these cards back. I'll take some cards from my Kipper deck for you. And then I'll move on to some Oracle cards. No, I have to take my Situations Tarot deck for you. I have a lot of, I still have a lot of messages for you. You can ask a question if you wish, all right? Okay, so this is my Kipper deck. This card just wants to fall. Where it goes. Love. Romance. Oh, oi. Just a minute. I don't want to make that sound. Yeah. I have your two cards. Talking to a main male here. Now, when this individual shows up for me, I always think it's Libra energy. You know, somebody who's very well put together. They could be dealing with finances. I don't know why I feel this. Or even Leo. Um, Somebody who's got a lot of ego, arrogance, look at the way they are. They're very well put together. Now, this is a card of occupations. This is something that they're working on. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody here who's working on getting a gift of a relationship. Let's see what is out for you. Maybe you're single. I think this individual is single. Okay. I think if you've been working hard at getting a relationship, there is one coming your way. I feel this. Okay. The home, the, the living room. Okay, now, when this card comes out, it is talking about uh, your private space. I don't know if I'm talking to somebody who's single. I mean, who's really been trying very hard to move in with someone. You could be moving with someone. Maybe, you know, renting an apartment, doing it up. You're going to move in with somebody, okay, and expect this to happen in the next two, three weeks, who feels like home, where you can relax, let your hair down. You know, this is a living room where you sit and watch your movies. This is coming up for you. And this is a gift. This is your gift. And you've been working very hard. And have you been trying to move in with somebody or getting them to move in with you? It's going to happen, yeah. It's going to happen, Virgo. I don't know who this is. But this is somebody who's single. I feel this. My God. What's going on? All right. <clears throat> it's a message of concern. It's the card of cancer in this deck. You know, as the fourth house, it could be about somebody's home, what's going on in their home. Somebody's getting some message which is going to be very concerning. I'm not talking about health. In this deck, apart from being sick, this is a card of somebody having bed pleasures. I think someone is going to find out some very concerning news about somebody who's been sleeping around and there is going to be talk in the community about it. I don't know if, they, if they're sleeping around the same community where they live. I want you to watch out for this. If you have had doubts, okay, if your person is kind of, you know, out and about with as many people as they can, I'm sorry to say you may find out communication via your community only that yes, they are. I don't know why I feel this. I don't know who is preoccupied here with something. I think there is a lot of mental stress in somebody's mind. They are preoccupied about a situation. But this card tells me in this deck, the Kipper deck, do not have the knowledge. It's the Pisces energy. You're confused. Don't be impatient. Don't run and, you know, I mean, don't do anything. Hold on. God of Sagittarius, great happiness is coming towards you. You know, and if you're preoccupied with why something is not working out for now, I just want you to know this is why. Because you're not happy where you are. Why would you be preoccupied and sad if you had your time spending with your darling or your sweetheart? You're not. You're sitting here in your thoughts. And you're only thinking of doom and gloom. Why? Virgo, stop. I'll take one more card for that, please. 
You know, the minute you get out of it, happiness is just waiting there for you. It's just around the corner. Talking to somebody who's very worried about a marriage. Look, I'll give you two messages with this. I do not know what you're worried about. I'm going to clarify these cards. I don't know if you're worried about somebody um, stepping out now because it's a sad energy. It's my player energy. By the way, it's my sun sign. Before you yell like, oh my God, you're disrespecting sad. It's my sun sign. Okay. What is this preoccupation of the spirit? It's the Virgo. Knight of Wands. It is a player that you're worried about in a marriage. The marriage card, please, wherever it goes. Gosh. Great happiness. <clears throat> you know what? You are worried about somebody playing around because I have the biggest player energy with what you're preoccupied with. Look, are you dealing with a player who has done you, a, who tells you that they've done you a favor by marrying you or by settling down with you or coming? Let them go. What do you mean? They want to be a player. Either they're preoccupied with it or you are worried that you've committed to the wrong person, somebody you never wanted to commit. They just want to go out and about and, you know, explore, be Dora the Explorer. And I'm not talking about archaeological sites. Look, if you are dealing with somebody who is very sexually active, apart from being with you, I need you to be careful of not getting some STDs because that sickness card is very much here and it's my card of somebody who's too obsessed with sex and passion. And this person, by the way, never will settle down if you're dealing with a knight or one. They're not interested. They want to play. They want to deal with as many people as they can. Is their birthright. They also travel short distances. They hold that want and not being vulgar and run with it behind everything that moves. With the card of marriage, okay, I have somebody who could be going through a divorce here. This is eminent. I'm so sorry, but this is this is there. Have you realized that you've been giving? Because you see all the hands taking from you? It's time to remember that you have the weighing scales as well. And if you are going for a divorce, it's going to be an equal give and take. I assure you, whatever legal battle you're fighting, there is going to be justice and judgment in equally for both, both parties, okay? Last but not least, with the card of great happiness, which is my card of Sag, Jupiter and the world, sorry, the wheel of fortune, which is Jupiter again. I am telling you, your soulmate is coming because, you know, when Jupiterian energy comes in, I think of Archangel Michael and he's a keeper of soulmates. You're with somebody who... I'm so sorry, is not your soulmate. The wheel is turning in your favor. Your happiness is going to be restored. Your loyalty is going to be rewarded. It's time to get out of this wheel. It's been a roller coaster ride of hell. Like I'm telling you, you've gotten used to staying in a shitty situation. Purge it. And don't confront anybody. Please, Virgo, I request you. Let them go. Let the wheel turn. Nothing can stop it. This is karmic justice. A huge cycle has to end. Let it end successfully. Somebody here is going through legalities because when Jupiter comes in, it's about legalities as well. Now, I'm going to take some cards, okay, from the person you're not talking to. This is my no communication message. Let's see what they're thinking, okay? Let's spy on them, Virgos, okay? Who's the deck? Oh, my God. I'm glad I caught it. I look for you everywhere. This person is either passing by your home, going to the spots you frequent. They could also be looking at your social media. If you want, make it private or whatever all those settings are. They're looking at you. I feel Loki obsession. Loki stalking. I don't get anything negative. They just want to know what's going on with you. They're obsessed. I feel you even though we were apart. We are apart. That's the word. This individual is literally that I, I'm getting 
an image in my mind of somebody trying to remove a stain, you know. But it's like it's in their heart. They can't remove it. You have touched and touched their life in such a way that is it's left a permanent mark. One that is painful for them because I don't think you've done anything wrong here, Virgos. They feel you, even though you guys are not together. It's like you've left this unremovable mark of love in their heart. And perhaps they look for you everywhere or in other people, but they cannot forget you. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I do not know if you connected with this person. When you were in between two relationships, that never really works, you know, because we bring that baggage, delete that baggage first and then get into something new. Don't just jump into stuff. You know, I know I was a distraction from your pain. Perhaps this was them too, that they were in between relationships and they jumped in with you. I feel very strongly you're dealing with somebody who does not want to commit. I don't know if you force them to commit or uh, th there's something about commitment here, which is, has been a big problem in this relationship. Somebody does not, they want to play. I want to put this out there for you. Now, I'll take some messages from my situation, tarot deck. And then I will take your angel answers. Hey, again, let me remind you, if you have a question, write it down. I will pull a card for you. Okay, Virgos? Let's go. So my Virgos. Oh, I knew it. Now, when this, sorry, when this card comes out of today, there is something happening in divine timing. The wheel of fortune is about divine timing. There is something imminent. Do not screw it up. Sorry, Virgos. Let it play out. Do not interfere. Intervention, other people involved. I first want to tell you that divine intervention is at play, like I said here. The wheel is turning in your favor. This is your path. The doors, the portals are going to open for you. Jump. With this, other people involved. I want to give somebody a confirmation that you're dealing with somebody who's got many other people involved. You've got the five of wands there in your reading. I'm sorry, you have competition. Somebody's in denial. Spirituality and practicality. Go back to that first message. You've been given the prompts. You're not listening. You're not listening. You're in denial. You're wearing those rose-tinted glasses. Here it's black. And you're going through life like, whoa, it's off. I'm telling you, you've gotten used to being in a shitty situation. Get out of it. Don't be in denial. Don't be irrational. Face that truth. Virgo, that is your archetype. Yeah, you're the seeker, the, sh the, the sh shore, or not the shore, the one who sheds light on the truth, the one who goes searching for the truth. It's all you. Remove these glasses. You have somebody stalking you. I don't know if this is an ex. Or perhaps some of you are stalking someone and not telling them. I'm, I know somebody here is doing something like that. And you're, you are the Nancy Drews of the Zodiac. You are going to catch someone. Just do not run to confront them, please. I request you, okay? I'm going to end this reading with some angel answer cards for you. Okay. It just came out. Now, somebody is going to come to you, okay, to reconsider. I feel this, that page of cups is coming with an apology, a little bit of playfulness. I love you. You may show you. They're coming. Look, you have free work. Do not just give in because you've gotten used to being with someone. Don't accept them back because you feel, you know what? A known devil is better than an unknown angel. No, there are million, millions of devils out there. Angels too. Okay, and one has your name written on their heart. Be assertive. This is the key, okay? You have to speak up. Do not block your Vishuddha. Speak. Give it to them. Not with anger. Not with, you know, one-upmanship. Just with honesty. You know, from your heart, from your anahata. Let them know how you feel. And then you can leave, sure. But don't be, don't be in that angry ego. No, I, 
I know you will. Be assertive. Speak. Somebody here has not spoken their truth in a long time. They probably just had to sit and listen to someone. Look for a sign. The universe, your guardian angels are communicating with you. You've been shown signs, many signs. This time, do not wear those glasses and ignore them. Remove those glasses. See what is being shown. And sometimes when you see somebody's shitty side, don't, you can't unsee it. Yeah, Virgo? It's okay. You've asked for a sign, you're going to be given it. Now follow it. Last but not least, pay happy changes. You have a lot of Sag energy. You know, Jupiter. This is blessings, Guru. Okay? Make happy changes. You know, once you purge something, because I feel you are holding, like I said, you are got used to being in a shitty situation. You purge it out. Off your system, off your life. Make happy changes. Jupiter comes in, boom. Saturn is testing you. I feel this. It's okay, Virgo. This too shall pass, okay? Just remember, you are loved, guided, guarded, and very, very protected. So these were your messages. Comment below. Let me know what you're going through. Subscribe to my channel. I post a video almost every day. If not a long drawn one, I post three card messages every single day. Angel answers, angel messages. I also post mini readings for love, relationships, career, health, everything. Now, after this, I'm putting up your reading for health and career. Watch that reading. Watch your sun, moon, rising and Venus. Do not forget. Put a question down, I'll pick a card for you, I promise you. But I'm going to take your leave right now. Take care, stay happy, stay blessed. I love you, Virgos. Namaste. Bye.